Our area's most beautiful properties deserve the finest realtors. Meeks Realty Group. We focus on buying and selling residential and commercial properties throughout the tri-state area. Contact Meeks Realty Group online at meeks.us or call 304-440-1101. Necessarily reflect the views and opinions of 580 WCHS, its employees, or WVRC Media. 580 Live is presented by Thornhill Automotive and is broadcast live from the Parmar Stores Studio. The country, the United States of America, the state, West Virginia, the city, Charleston. This is 580 Live. And your host of 580 Live. What we've got here is failure to communicate. He's kind of a big deal. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Dave Allen. Hey folks, good Friday morning to you from the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live. Brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group. The voice of Charleston WCHS. Bigly, Piggly Wiggly Hotline 304. 345-5850 345-5850 Food Pharmacy Text 304-935-5008. We do the show from the Parmar Store Studio. If there's not a Parmar Store near you now, there will be soon. Parmar's newest location opened up at Scary Creek earlier this week, just off the St. Albans exit of I-64. And the brand new location just opened a couple of hours ago in Monroe County, one of the most beautiful areas in the state of West Virginia. So uh, should you find yourself down in Union, West Virginia, 312 Main Street. Stop by, check out the all-new Parmar store just opened this morning down there in Monroe County. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. 580 Live is also brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group, including the new Thornhill Toyota. The celebration continues now. Come check out the sleek Camry, the versatile RAV4, or the all-new Tacoma, and drive away with a smile on your face and money in your pocket with Thornhill. Click or come by Thornhill Toyota, WV.com, or on US 119 in Chapmanville. The boss, Dale Cooper, is our producer uh, today. Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline, 304-345-5858. Fruit Pharmacy Text, 304-935-5008. Coming up a little bit later on in the show, we're going to talk uh, live on the levee. This is the final live on the levee for the 2023 season. Jim Strawn and company I think a couple of other people are going to be in studio to talk about that. Plus, Summerfest rolls on in South Charleston, and we'll talk to uh, the folks with the uh, South Charleston CBB about that. My guest co-host this week, you know her, you love her. She's the co-host of WOWK TV 13's morning news program, along with Zach and Brian and the others, Andy Bernhardt. Andy, how are you? I'm doing good. We finally made it to Friday. That's always an accomplishment. It is indeed. And you've been up since what time? Uh, 2 a.m. So <laughs> it's afternoon. Where's lunch? I was going to say, this is your 1 or 2 o'clock. And yes. we're going to talk about your schedule a little bit uh, later on. I'm going to get to know you in detail. What made you get into this business of television? Uh, what you think about being here in the Charleston Huntington Market? Your background? Uh, and, of course, the always popular 10 questions, too. Ooh, can't wait. Yeah. And we are loaded up. As I said, we've got a host of others that are going to be in the studio but we always start friday after we introduce our guest co-host by talking to our good friend hannah gardner from the canal charleston humane association with this week's adopt me please uh, pet of the week hannah good morning how are you hannah are you there yeah i'm here okay Great. hannah andy andy hannah hi hannah nice to meet you hey Nice to meet you. All right. All right. We can barely hear Hannah. I don't know, uh, Hannah, uh, maybe you need to uh, uh, step up a little bit to the to the phone there because we can barely hear you. <laughs> Shout at us. Shout at us. <laughs> Is this any better? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Now, as always, uh, the picture of um, – uh, of our pet is posted uh, on uh, on my Facebook, Dave Allen Radio, and also at Dave A Seventy on X, the artist formerly known as Twitter. Uh, this week, the story is the story of Blossom. Tell us about Blossom. Yeah, so she is five months old, and she's a very very energetic little girl. Um, she has been adopted before, but she was brought back, no fault of her own. She just wasn't allowed to be in the apartment complex she was in um and she's very 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 sweet she would be a very very good family dog i think maybe for a little bit of older kids just because of how energetic she can be um she's still a puppy obviously she's five months old so she still has all of that puppy energy wanting to run around and play so maybe even even if it's a small yard, but just like a, a yard that she can run around in would be great for her. Um, she is spayed already, 
so she is um, all ready to go. She has her vaccines and she's microchipped and all of that good stuff. So she is ready to go home. Well, she, um, she's a beautiful she's dog. Like someone who's really energetic like her, though. Okay. She almost has like human like features. Like she looks wi- like she has wisdom to share with us. Don't you <laughs> see it in the face? <laughs> yes, she's she has that big underbite too, which is so <laughs> cute. Well, oh, she's a beautiful dog. Any idea what kind of dog that she is? Um, no, not really. Um, she is about to. Sh- I don't. She, she's not going to get big. That's for sure. She's still very, very, like small to medium sized right now. Um. I wouldn't say she's going to get much bigger than she is. Maybe she'll get around to be about like 40 or so pounds, but I don't think she's going to be any bigger than that. Well, she is an absolutely beautiful dog. It will make a great pet. And as you said, she is good with uh, uh, with uh, with kids and with other dogs. And, but it's, and it's a younger dog. And you said she was brought back through no fault of her own. So we want to make, make sure we put out the, put that out there. And, I, in reading the notes that you sent me, uh, Hannah, she was she came in with with fishing line wrapped around her neck. Is that right? Yes. So when she came in, um, she was actually brought in, I believe, by one of our humane officers. Um, found her with fishing wire wrapped around her neck. Now, you know, we don't know if that's intentional or if that's accidental or how that happened, but she did have it wrapped around her neck. So we did take that off of her and um she didn't have hair there for a while but she does now she looks great she's beautiful she's sweet and she is just ready for a good home she would be a great one to go on like hikes and outdoor stuff take to the dog park stuff like that she's a very sweet girl blossom is the high energy companion we all need to keep us in line throughout the summer <laughs> <laughs> right exactly well, the um, uh, we'll we'll, we'll kind of wrap up with uh, Blossom here. I'll go back to it here in a couple of moments. But Hannah, the uh, details are starting to come out now about uh, one of your big events that you do there at the shelter, and that's the Kegs for Canines. It's going to be at the Red Carpet Lounge on Friday, September the eighth. Starts at five thirty. What's this all about? Yeah, so um, like you said, September eighth. It's at the Red Carpet Lounge. It's from five thirty to nine thirty. And um, you can go get your tickets on our social media. You can go to our actual social media page, Canal Charleston Humane Association. And then you can just search up Kegs for Canines. Or if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see where we've shared and posted about Kegs for Canines. Um, it's basically a event that we have every year. And you can come and you can drink beer and you can have your dogs there. You can pet some dogs because we'll have some there. Um, You can get, I think we're going to have a bunch of stuff to do this year. Like, um, we usually have face painting, I believe. I'm not sure if we're going to have that this year, but I know we're going to have some hair tinseling, and we're going to have a bunch of other stuff like friendship bracelets for even kids if they wanted to come and make some friendship friendship bracelets and stuff like that. So mark your calendars. It's going to be very, very fun. Um, We always say cold beers for cold noses. It's really cute. (laughs) Um, I'll be there, so it's going to be great. Right, well, that's worth the price of admission right there because you people finally get to meet Hannah. She'll be there, so it's going to be great. Friday, September the 8th starts at 530 at the Red Carpet Lounge. One other thing I wanted to get uh, to you with, there was something else that kind of caught my attention. I was looking at, uh, well, actually a couple things that uh, I want to go over with you. I was looking at your Facebook page. You've got a great deal going on with Petco, I understand, uh, now through the weekend. Now, on the page, there's a coupon that is good at Petco for 25% off of a purchase there. Be a nice gift for an existing pet or my mind goes to this, maybe it would be good that you could go use that Petco coupon to buy some supplies to donate to the shelter. Yes, you could do that. Um, we, it is, the pictures of it is on our social media. So if you just want to go screenshot that or show them that, um, you can just show them that at the register. But it is usable online as well. So it's very, very very handy. We are excited to be having that to give out to just anyone. Um, but also, if you adopt from us, we also give you a 20% off coupon to Petco, even if it's not related to this weekend. So, come and adopt. All right, absolutely. Matter of fact, I got a text to the show that says, uh, please donate to the shelter. And uh, they sent me, this is somebody who obviously keeps uh, tabs on what's going on at the shelter because they sent me a picture of some of the things that they, that you could really use. Uh, Purina dog chow, Dawn dish soap, treats for dogs and cats of any kind, 
uh, uh, laundry uh, detergent that's to keep the blankets fresh, disposable gloves, paper towels, and linens, including blankets and towels, and used linens are welcome here. We understand. And also, they wanted to throw in, this person did, this person knows what they're talking about. The cheapest place to buy bleach is Dollar General. It's $1 a gallon. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, we do definitely need all of those things. Um, I know that dog food and linens and soap are a big thing right now. We could also always, there's never a time that we don't need dog collars. Um, We put a collar on every dog that walks through the door um, just as a safety precaution. So we definitely could use some of those, um, but just any, anything helps at all. Yeah, absolutely. Something else that kind of caught my attention, we'll close with this, uh, and this, there was a family, Hannah, that had lost a loved one, someone in their family had passed, and they asked, instead of flowers or something like that, that people make donations to the shelter in that person's name. That is quite common. That goes on a lot, right? Yes, that actually um, that actually happens quite often. We have a lot of people donate in memory of people, so if you um, or a, a loved one wanted to have that happen, you could definitely do that. Um, it's a very nice thing. It's a very it's a very great option to have as well. Indeed. All right, Hannah, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And we won't talk to you next week. I understand you're going to be away, but we have somebody that's going to be subbing for you next week. We'll still have the Adopt Me Please Pet of the Week next week. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy your time off. We'll talk to you here in a couple of weeks. Thank you. We'll see you then. All right. Uh, it's Hannah Garden from the Canal Charles New Humane Association with this week's Adopt Me Please Pet of the Week. Uh, and uh, Andy, I mean, what a beautiful dog, right? I love the dog. Such a cutie. And I'm telling you, the human face is uncanny. Go look at the picture. You it's, need to uh, see this, It's uh, Dave Allen Radio on Facebook or at Dave A70 on X. Have you gotten used to saying X yet or do you... Are you a Twitter person? I keep saying Twitter, but I'm trying to get with the trend. <laughs> it's just Twitter to me. Blossom is five months old, microchipped, spayed, and ready to join your home. Vaccinated, loves kids and other playful dogs. Uh, she was adopted and then got sent. Uh, they brought her back, but nothing that she did. It's just a person that adopted could not have the dog in her apartment facility. Perfect higher energy energy companion to and, and she's five months old meaning that again like you said there's going to be some energy there mm-hmm. so this is not last week we had a dog that said it was just that well, he didn't say it, but somebody said that the uh, dog was just perfect to be a companion to lay around watch netflix or whatever this is not that dog this is a high energy dog but there's nothing wrong with that yeah. and uh, with the dog being so young this is one that could really grow with your family dog absolutely loves kids from what we understand normal puppy energy and then they start to mellow out you want the fun puppy puppy energy though yeah, absolutely. So go check out Blossom. Again, available for adoption uh, with the uh, Canal Charles Humane Association. Blossom with five months old, microchip, spayed, vaccinated, checks all the boxes, ready to go to your home. 580 Live presented in part by your hometown baseball team, the Charleston Dirty Birds. Dirt, the uh, Dirty Birds continue that series uh, in New York, but they are back at home at Goldmart Ballpark next Tuesday to take on Frederick. For tickets, promotions, Dirty Birds gear, schedules, and more, visit DirtyBirdsBaseball.com. We're going to talk some live on the levee, and after that, Summerfest, and Andy is here, and Andy's going to play 10 questions. we got our good friend Andy Bernhardt from WOWK TV 13 as my guest host this morning. We're back after this from the Parmar Store Studio 580 Live is brought to you by the Thornhill Outer Group on the voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses. Eric J. Tarr Family Businesses bring first-class businesses to your community. Get ready for the ultimate summer savings at the new Thornhill Toyota Celebration. Hey, it's Sydney inviting you to the Thornhill Motor Mile to take advantage of our red, white, and vroom savings. Upgrade your ride with unbeatable deals on our top models from the sleek Camry to the versatile RAV4 or the all-new Tacoma. We have the perfect car for your summer adventures. You can drive away with a smile on your face and money in your pocket. Click or come by ThornhillToyotaWV.com or US 119 in Chapmanville for the summer celebration. See Thornhill for full details. Does your knee pain keep getting worse? How about that pain in your shoulder, your hip, or your back? Don't let to tell you steroids and surgery are your only option. Take my advice and call QC Kinetics. Hey, it's Dave Allen. QC Kinetics can make that pain go away with all natural advanced regenerative medicine. They're helping people here every day with these amazing natural treatments that restore and repair damaged joint tissue. It's like turning back the clock. 
Regenerative medicine uses concentrated healing agents from your own body to stimulate that damaged tissue in your joints so they so so they can work like they're supposed to. And there's zero downtime. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in this exciting medical breakthrough. Patients here are getting real lasting relief and are saying no to surgery and drugs. If you have pain due to injury or arthritis, this is a remarkable option that you need to check out. And the consultation's free. Call QC Kinetics at Huntington and Cross Lanes for your complimentary consultation. 304-202-5566. 304-202-5566. Bigly, Piggly Wiggly Hotline. 304-345-5858. Fruit Pharmacy Text. 304 304- Nine three five five zero zero eight five eighty live is brought to you part by Meeks Realty Group. Our area's most beautiful properties deserve the finest realtors. Meeks Realty Group. Visit them online, meeks.us, or call 304-440-1101. Eddie Bernhardt from WOWKTV13 is here. Doing all right over there? I'm doing all right. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you made it You made it through. Now, are you a weekend person? Do you have to work weekends? or just I'm a, not. This is my last hurrah of the week. Okay. <laughs> now, we have to go back, don't you? Don't you go back at noon? or uh, I do go back at noon. But, you know. I'm glad, I'm glad I reminded her of that. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. I still have to work after this. So okay. This is my hiatus break. For okay. Uh, well, it gets you away from Brian Hughes for a while. So, that's that's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. I'm just kidding. Brian's a, Brian's a great friend of the show. Speaking of friends of the show, Jim Strawn. I'm here. here. How are you, man? I'm the best I've ever been, except for my old man back. I was going to Hey, you're no. limping a little bit. No, I'm good otherwise. But, but you're good to play tonight, right? Yeah, I'm standing, so, I'm, I'm standing as tall as I can, so I'm 4'11 right now. <laughs> and uh, I feel you know, decent for a man my age, but my back's bugging me. But I'm, I'm ready for the final Moses Auto Group live on the levee. And we have with us as well, Mac, Mac, why don't we just have you stand up there with Jim? Mackenzie's in the house. Come here. Uh, you have, have, you have little, to stand. Yeah, Jim's having a little trouble okay, we setting. Can do that. So we, we, can, we can make that happen. Good Mackenzie, morning. Mackenzie Spencer is here. Now, what do you have to do with all this tonight? So, festival is going to be set up as part of Back to School Night at Live on the Levee. We're going to have a ton of people on the boulevard all the way down doing free haircuts, doing backpack giveaways, doing... Uh, face painting, character meet and greets, caricatures. So it's going to be a big night at Live on the Levee on top of the amazing music that we're going to have, too. All right, and Jim, you talk about the amazing music. Well, the amazing music, the unit, have they've been on the Schoenbaum stage in the past. They're going to take that center stage at 6.30 tonight, a wonderful 6 6- piece band just a good groove just a good vibe just you know good kind of soulful dancing music the unit they'll play for 60 minutes until 7 30 we'll take a much needed break we have a few uh, speakers tonight we'll throw away some uh, throw out some uh, away we'll throw out some t-shirts <laughs> and then at 7 45 taking center stage down at haddad riverfront park on season 19 week number 10 our final Friday of the of the year. I'll, I'll get mm-hmm. through this. I'll be fine. Shalim will take center stage, and he'll play for two 45-minute sets. He's been on the stage before. He brings a lot of rappiness to the audience, Yeah, as gonna, you well know. It's going to be a great night. You guys are involved tonight, aren't you, as well? We are. 13? We have yep. 13 News, and we have a special announcement, to my understanding. One you're not going to want to miss. Yep, it should, it should be good. I, I think I know what's coming. WWK is our TV media sponsor tonight. Our charities will be there. KBC is our charity of choice tonight. I just want to put out thanks to all the audience members everybody that's come down and supported our 50 50 drawings we're about one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars that we've raised the uh the full 19 season so it, it goes to help our fellow brother and sister who may need a bite to eat and a place to lay their head at night so thanks for that uh, boaters come down skateboarders come down bicyclists i don't care if you walk ride a car how do you get down there but it should be the place to be tonight had that riverfront park the weather looks her superb it's going to be great and we just want to thank all the sponsors and everybody that's been involved of course it's brought to you by the city of charleston but moses is obviously our title sponsor so many other great sponsors it does take a village to put this thing together tonight as mckenzie said back to school night really really encourage the the students and the kiddos to come on down we are really catering to the kids tonight it should be a blast at haddad riverfront park Day. And i think uh, some of our folks from uh, the beat are going to be there as well i think that they're going to be hanging out there uh, tonight as well. So. I love the beat. You love the beat, right? We love the beat. Well, we just gave away <laughs> 500 uh, backpacks out here on this parking yes. lot yesterday. Speaking of your back feeling it, mine does today because those <laughs> have to get out there one way or the other, and we all had to carry those out there yesterday and set up tents and so on and so forth. But I think the beat's going to be there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the beat's going to be there. And I mean, honestly, such a great community partner, such a great community like engagement, just at all times. But again, tonight we're going to have so many things for the community, for the kids. 
you know, we've got uh, the foam garage is going to be there. The uh, Charleston Fire Department's bringing their big fire safety house, the inflatable down there. There's going to be some giveaways with Kanawha County Sheriff's Office, uh, the CPD, CFD, the FBI. They're all going to come together to do if fingerprinting. If they've got initials, they're there. Yeah, they're all there tonight. <laughs> and, and they're going to do uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> exactly. Everybody's there. But they're going to do fingerprinting with the kids and also give away helmets for bikes. Awesome. So there's going to be stuff for everybody down there. And I mean, magicians, the uh, public library is going to be down there signing people up for library cards. So a little bit of everything, uh, even some sensory friendly activities with West Virginia Cares. Yeah, and we would schedule to have somebody here with us, and I don't think that worked out. Uh, so, uh, but uh, but they are going to be there yes, as well. Yes, they are going to be there tonight as well to do, have some sensory sensitive activities. Uh, the Fun Fitness Kids Bus. So the whole boulevard is going to be lined up with fun things for your kids to do. So bring the whole family. And it's again back to school. And again, we've kind of explained to people because I get texts about it, Jim, about why it's ending earlier because it used to go through Labor Day, but school starts earlier. Yeah, we did high talk school, about that last week. And the city earlier. of Charleston says, hey, you know what? We think the attendance is a, a, a little low the, the, the next, you know, last couple of weeks. We have school. You know, schools used to start, as we talked about before, Dave, the day after Labor Day when we were mm-hmm. growing up. Now yeah. school starts, you know, mid-August, and here, today, and here yeah. we are. So yeah, we're just going to let the, uh, the kids uh, get back to school. We're going to let folks enjoy the Friday night lights, and we're just going to uh, uh, call it a season. We'll reconvene. We'll reevaluate. And the Live and Levy season number 20 will be back next Memorial Day weekend. I'm already looking forward to that, by the way, Dave. What am I going to do without you on Friday? Well, maybe I, mean, I will just sneak in. We continue to have a... What do, you, what do you call it? The Funhouse Friday? Maybe for, we yeah. can continue this. Yeah, okay. we did that last year for a few months, and then you finally just said, okay, Jim, enough. I'm done. I'm done okay. with you. Well, yeah. no, it's Jim, Jim always <laughs> has something going on to promote. Yeah. I mean, I'll be you know, in. I'll be in, brother. And did I see on your social media that you're going to be up at uh, uh, at Elk View tomorrow for the Herbert Hoover oh, thing? Oh, I'll be there. I'm, I'm Elk River Strong, brother. I'm, you. I'm a proud alum. Yeah. yeah, I will be there. I'm looking forward to being uh, on the field, and I'm, I, I really just want to say thanks to the leadership that happened up at uh, Elk River the last seven years from Mike Kelly down to the mayor of Clendenin, uh, Mayor Summers, and everyone that's had a, a hand in this whole project. It's going to be, I told McKenzie in the green room, there'll be a, a few tears flowing. I'm taking my 85-year-old mother with me, and so I'll just probably cry just holding her hand as we watch the ribbon cutting for the new Herbert Hoover High School. I'm very proud, Dave. Have you had a chance to walk through the school yet? I've only been on the outside. I've not been inside just yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm looking forward to a little tour. I'm looking forward to a little football. I'm looking forward to seeing you know a country music artist who people know very well, Mr. Paisley. Mr. Paisley will be there, and he's Mm -hmm. you know he's had a a little hand in our resurgence, and he was there when we when we flooded, so he had to come back to see the finished product. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It, it's going to be a big, big, big day up there. And out. we'd like to have everybody out there, but if something happens that you can't, yeah. we are going to be broadcasting. You guys are streaming it, right? Uh, or broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 4.30 with uh, with Jarrett Lewis and Chris Lawrence and Jeff Jenkins. Nice. We'll actually have it on the air tomorrow. So uh, so that is good stuff. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm, yeah. glad we're, I'm glad we're getting all this video and audio of this ceremony and this momentous time in our Canal Valley because I think this is a national story waiting that needs to be told the resiliency of the Elk River people and this whole project. I think it's a national story and I'm waiting for it to be told. I'm glad we're getting some footage and some audio because we're going to need that for the documentary. And what these kids, you know, and the staff went through the last couple of years doing their classroom work, you know, from these modular buildings or whatever, their test scores actually went up. Uh, they, <laughs> they have excelled. Kelly told me that they on have Monday. excelled in the classroom. Yeah. They've excelled on the athletic arena and now they're getting the tools that they deserve. So I'm looking forward to it. Dave, I got to run. Andy, have have a good weekend. We'll see you tonight, baby. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm looking forward All right, to it. McKenzie, I'll take care. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, Jim Strawn. See, I feel like we should be playing like you know, I can't smile without you by Barry Manilow or something. Don't don't really play that, Coop. That was just a joke. Okay, that was just a joke. I'm really not serious about that. But uh, yeah, Jim is Jim is gone. Mackenzie, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I appreciate you as always. Keep doing what you do. Thank you guys so much, and I'll be talking to everybody soon. All right, it's uh, Mackenzie Spencer again. I appreciate they're a big part of what's going on live on the Levy Night. So many big things going on. Thank you very much. See what Fridays are like around here, Andy? It's crazy. <laughs> I love it, though. It's very entertaining. In and out, in and out. This is the one day that the show's entertaining. <laughs> uh, the rest of the week, yeah. Oh, come on. So much. 580 Live is presented in part by Hudson's Pizza. This month, get yourself a large 18-inch pepperoni pizza and order cheese sticks only twenty one ninety nine for locations. To place an order or for delivery, visit Hudson'sPizza.com. Want to switch gears for a moment as the craziness continues. Your Summerfest in South Charleston is continuing tonight. Vicki Vaughn.
is with the South, uh, or, yeah, with the South Charleston Convention and Visitors Bureau, and she joins us now. Vicki, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing fine. My co-host this week is Andy Bernhardt, who I know you've seen on TV on WOWK TV 13. I yeah. love watching the Summerfest. We've had so many <laughs> clips, and I, we saw one this morning of this kid doing the best dance at Summerfest. Did you see it? I saw it. This I don't morning. know what the move was, but it was something we need to take notes on. Yeah. That, that. Oh, everyone enjoys our dance contest every night at seven thirty. One for children and one for adults, and it's just so entertaining. I love seeing the kids out there. Now, this has actually been going on for when? When did it start? 22 years ago. Okay, I meant, I meant this week. But, but that, that's, oh, a, that's, oh, a good, that's a good point. No, no, that, that's a good point, too. That's a great point, too. 22 years. When did it start yeah, this week? 22. Uh, it started on Wednesday. It's always Wednesday okay. through Saturday. Okay. And how's it been so far? It's been very good. We had a really good turnout Wednesday night. Last night was a little bit lower because the I get it, kids getting ready to go back to mm-hmm. school. But uh, we had the Tams last night and the 14 karat gold, and they were wonderful, really good performance. Uh, so we enjoyed that. And then also, uh, Kevin and D. Tuig came out with the Charleston Shag Society, and they offered lessons uh, to go with the Tams, and uh, and they shagged on the, you know, we have the dance floor in front of the mound, so it's so much fun. So that was entertaining, just watching the shaggers last night. Indeed it was. Anytime you get a good shag, I mean, that's that's, uh, that's worth the price of admission right there. Uh, and, you, and, you know, the weather has been absolutely fantastic. Perfect. And, you know, we just talked Perfect. to the folks at, uh, at Live on the Levee. Uh, they've got their, their final event of the year uh, going on. I understand, uh, I think Jenny Murray, he was down there last night for Summerfest from V100. She was. She was. She was down there last night. Uh, there's a radio station each night at, at Summerfest. So she was down there last night, and we just really enjoy her. She's so much fun. Now, uh, so musically, what do we have to look forward to for uh, the rest of the weekend? So tonight, uh, back by popular demand, we have Seven Bridges, the Ultimate Eagles Experience. And we usually have a really, really large crowd for that. Plus, it's Friday night. And it'll start out with the Danley Band, which is country. But then we have the Seven Bridges. So uh, we're totally excited about that tonight. And they're great. I mean, I actually had a chance to work. I, I emceed mm-hmm. one of their shows uh, several years ago. And those those guys, if you love the Eagles, and I mean, let's face it, who doesn't love the Eagles? Who I mean, they're one of those, yeah. those groups that just everybody knows. If you don't like this song, well, you're going to like the next one. And they do it. Uh, they do a fantastic job. So if you're an Eagles fan, you show up on Friday. It's great, great party music for the Friday night, and, and you got your ballads and your love songs and whatnot in there as well. So Seven Bridges is fantastic. Who who we got the rest of the weekend? I, and then on Saturday we have uh, Non Friction, which is a local band. They're, they're going to be the first band at six o'clock. Uh, they're a local band, and they play like some '80s and '90s music. And then Rick Kay and the Road Trip. Rick Kay has been popular with Summerfest for years and years. He puts on a fantastic show, and he, and he plays a variety of music. So it's a show along with really good dance tunes. Rick Kay is, I mean, he's become sort of a – uh, an institution in West Virginia. I mean, he's been doing it for right. a long time. And he's had different uh, variations of his band over the years. Of course, going back to the Rick Kay and the All Nighters, and uh, right. just a fantastic. And Andy, I'll tell you, if you've never seen Rick Kay, the guy is absolutely fantastic. I mean, he really is in his band. If you like party music, you can be in the worst mood possible, and you go out to a show. And you will not be in a bad mood for very long. Well, it sounds like I know where I'm going to be Saturday now. And I heard there's fireworks too, right? (laughs) Yes. At 10 p.m. we will have fireworks and that will conclude Summerfest. So um, it's really going to be a wonderful, it's always a really good uh, fireworks display. And if you're somewhere along 7th Avenue there where where the mound is, uh, Well, you can see the fireworks anywhere, but that's a really good spot to be. Well, Dale Cooper, my producer, now we want to know about the food. (laughs) We we have some food trucks, and we have, uh, you know, several. uh, We probably have about 10 different uh, food uh, trucks, and they have a variety of food. So, uh, you know, there's strawberry shortcake, there's barbecue, there's loaded mac and cheese, um, the Women's Club of South Charleston has uh, homemade ice cream. So, And then also, the city of South Charleston provides free snow cones for kids 
So that's pretty popular. There you go. There you go. All right. So give us all the details again. Where can people learn more? I know you do a great job on your social media. Is that the best place to check out for schedules? Thank you. We we would hope that you would like us on the South Charleston Convention and Visitor Bureau okay. on Facebook. We would love for you to do that because we're always putting events on there. Uh, also, our it's real easy. Our fa- our uh, website is visit South Charleston wv.com so that's easy visit south charleston wv.com and you'll have a lineup of the information there and we're really we're super excited about tomorrow we have a car show awesome i mean mean, we love our cars here in in this part of the world it sounds like there's something for everyone i mean you can't be bored that's for sure and the food sounds delicious is it too early for all that at 9 30. <laughs> remember you know, andy told andy, us you know andy andy gets up at 2 a.m you know to do the morning okay. news so she's already told us that this is this is her one or two o'clock uh, p.m right, right now so yeah well, maybe we could uh, swing down there i'm already ready to well, party <laughs> just remember everything at Summerfest starts around 6 p.m the food trucks usually open around five but everything you know the first entertainers start at 6 p.m so it's an evening event and we and we also have back this huge Ferris wheel this year, and so that's also very popular. And and it's not going to be a secret because I'm going to tell it right now. Any kid who is in the dance contest gets a free ticket to ride the Ferris wheel. Well, that kid makes sense now because he was giving it his all. It was all for the free ticket. He was. <laughs> I, I had just got up this morning and turned the TV on, and and I saw that, and I thought. Okay, what a, you know, my eyes weren't focused yet. The coffee hadn't kicked yeah. in. I said, "Is this what, what's going on with this kid here? I mean, is he okay?" And, he uh, gave it his all. <laughs> he did a fantastic job. Quick text here for you, uh, Vicky, from a text line. It says, "The Shag is the official South Carolina state dance. Um, SC for South Carolina, SC for South Charleston. Maybe the city should make it an official city dance." Oh, that's a good idea. It really is. And I'm going to tell you something funny. I get a lot of calls from people thinking that we're Charleston, South Carolina. You know, as long as they show up. (laughs) It don't matter. Yeah. As long exactly. as they show up, but I'm sure we can get shrimp and grits <laughs> somewhere. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Vicki, you, you folks do a fantastic job, uh, and I appreciate you, you, uh, you and Mayor Mullins and, and Randy and all the folks there uh, with right. the South uh, Charleston CVB. We'll see you, you. We'll see you over the next couple of days in South Charleston. Thanks a lot. Okay. okay. Thanks so much, Dave. All right. Vicki Vaughn, again, with the South Charleston Convention and Visitor Bureau Summerfest rolls on, Ms. Bernhardt. I'm I'm excited for it. I haven't attended yet, but like I've said, I've seen all the videos, but I think I'm going to make an appearance Saturday. All right. You got to get the food. You got you can go for the food. That's what Coop and I, that's kind of our motto. 580 Live is presented uh, to you by Pinnacle Consultants. They are the only accredited, uh, accredited commercial lab in West Virginia for asbestos and mold. Asbestos was banned in some building products, but it isn't banned for all products in the U.S. Don't expose your family or workers to asbestos mold or lead paint get with Pinnacle Consultants. They offer real estate environmental assessments for hazardous materials and air quality. Visit PinnacleCorp.net. That's PinnacleCorp.net because what you don't know can hurt you. Andy Bernhardt from WOWK TV 13 is my guest co-host today. We're going to get to know Andy in detail. Just me and her for the rest of the show. And uh, your texts are welcome. You can text us, uh, again, Fruit Pharmacy text line 304 uh, 304-935-5008 or you can call us Bigly Piggly Wiggly Hotline 304- Four three four five fifty eight fifty eight. And he's also going to play ten questions a little bit later on. I've heard a lot about ten questions. I'm I'm buckling up for the ride. <laughs> All right, Andy Bernhardt is here. We are on the way back right after this from the Parmar Store Studio. Five eighty live is brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group and the Voice of Charleston WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tar Family Businesses. Eric J. Tar Family Businesses want to thank you for shopping locally. Thrive with five at the Best Community Bank in the Canal Valley, Poca Valley Bank. Poca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Poca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Poca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield. Subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Poca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. 
Reckless big government policies are putting the American dream out of reach. We all know Washington is broken, but it doesn't have to be. Senator Joe Manchin could be part of the solution if he stood up for West Virginia values. Instead, he voted with Joe Biden on the Inflation Reduction Act, which led to higher taxes, trillions in new spending, and tens of thousands of new IRS agents. Tell Joe Manchin, Mountaineers want real, common sense solutions. To learn more, visit prosperityispossible.com. Paid for by Americans for Prosperity. Having issues with your home like wet basements, water in your crawl space, bowing or leaning walls, or foundation cracks? You need Foster Construction, your foundation repair experts. Locally owned and operated, Foster Construction offers free inspections and estimates and has a licensed professional engineer on staff. Their services include basement and crawl space waterproofing, foundation repair, and retaining walls. Call 304-776-6263 and get started today online at fosterconstructionwv.com. Foster Construction, they'll fix it right the first time. Oh, yeah, we love it when uh, Coop is in charge of the music, the bumper <laughs> music coming back from break. 580 Live is brought to you part by, Q- 580 Live is brought to you part by QC Kinetics of Huntington and Cross Lanes. Is that knee pain getting worse? What about your pain in your shoulders, your hips, or your back? Get real lasting relief without surgery, drugs, or downtime. Call QC Kinetics today, 304-202-5566, 304-202-5566 for QC Kinetics of Huntington and Cross Lanes. A couple of quick notes here before we get to our guest host today, Andy Bernhardt. First of all, thank you to everybody who made the 16th annual Beat Backpack Attack such a huge success. Woody Woods, G Money, everyone, 107.3 The Beat just killed it again for the 16th annual Backpack Attack. Of course, a big shout-out to Todd Judy Motors and all of our sponsors for making it all possible. I pulled back, uh, Andy, onto Virginia Street. I had run some errands and whatever, uh, and I came back into Virginia Street about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The people were already lined up all the way down the street. didn't start till 3, mm-hmm. and they were lined up all the way down the street. We gave away about 500 backpacks. I mean, you had to get it while it was hot. We saw, I saw the line yes. pouring out. I was like, okay, get it together, people. And, and you know, this is a... This is a beat thing, but all of us are out there, different departments of the station, you know, from the sales department to uh, uh, engineering to, you know, office staff, whatever out there, just kind of connecting with the, but this is all, Woody Woods came up with this thing 16 years ago, and it's just been absolutely fantastic. So again, thanks to Todd and Becky and everyone at Todd Judy Motors and all of our um, all of our sponsors for making it all uh, possible. So uh, we, speaking of which, uh, if you look over to your immediate left Miss Bernhardt, on the table, Oh, you, you have your own beat backpack. No way. That is your, it's a tradition I started last year because last year, the day after we did the uh, backpack attack, the day after, uh, Amanda Barron was our guest host. What are the chances? <laughs> Me and her joke were the two ABs, yes. so it's only right. And so I gave her one. She actually asked for one. She Aww. actually, she said, can I have one? And I said, no. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> I allowed. think, but no, you have your own beat uh, backpack attack now. I'm or, honored. Or, or I'm gonna, backpack, I should say, not backpack attack. I'll put it on and wear it back into the office today okay. so everyone knows. It's got some cool stuff in it. So so there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your, your backpack. All right, uh, Andy, um, so you're starting to see the way we do the things around here on Friday Funhouse uh, from the Parmar Store Studio. It's a thrill a minute here. But I want to hear about Andy Bernhardt. Where does your story begin originally? Well, on a dark and gloomy... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, well, I'm from Kenosha, Wisconsin, and then I went to college uh, at Illinois State, and then I worked at a news station in Peoria, Illinois, for a year, and then I came out here, worked in our Huntington Bureau... Moved down to St. Albans, and now I'm in Charleston, and here we are. And uh, so you've been here for how long? Uh, just over two years now. Well, I think I hit my two years like a month or two ago. Well, obviously, uh, you must uh, you must like what you're doing here. I love it. I love the people here. That's been the number one favorite thing, like going out on stories. Everyone is just so nice, and you never know what you're going to get when you go out there. What is it about the area other than the people that you like? I mean, because there's a world of difference between Kenosha, Wisconsin, and uh, and Charleston, West Virginia. When I tell you, when I got here and I saw mountains, because I went to college, Flatland, Illinois, it's just cornfields, mm-hmm. and I saw the mountains, and my jaw was on the floor, and then my mom was in the car next to me. She hates heights, and we were driving up the mountain. <laughs> she was like, Andy Bernhardt, you slow down right now. So the mountains have been gorgeous. The scenery, I've gone up to New River Gorge, too. Great time. So much to do. 
Okay. So now, have you always been Andy? I mean, is that that your name? Because a lot of people they'll say it's it's Andrea or it's something else. I mean, is that Andy the name? Yes, it's just Andy, and a just lot of people Andy. think Andrea. It's from Pretty in Pink, the movie. If you've seen uh, it, uh, yeah, I have. It's, it's an iconic. <laughs> I mean, movie. when you're a Generation X person, you know, like I am. I mean, I was <laughs> not high, sure if you heard of it. I, I was in high school when that movie came out, actually, uh, very much. So, so you're named after Andy from Pretty in Pink. Yes. See, there's something you didn't know. There you go. We Fun facts with me. Fun facts with Andy Bernhardt, and of course, you got a great crew over there, Amanda Barron, as I said. It's been one of my closest mm-hmm. friends for probably 20 years. Brian Hughes, uh, uh, Nikki Walters, Cassidy, Spencer, the whole gang. I think I've had just about all of them on the show at one time or another. They're all know? great. Amanda's been on. a really great mentor. And then, of course, my morning crew, they're great as well. They they keep me entertained throughout the time. <laughs> well, anytime you're around Brian Hughes, you're going to be entertained. Yeah, so that's that. for sure. You never know what's going to come out. <laughs> oh, that's, that's true. Was doing uh, TV news, was it something you always wanted to do growing up? It actually was. I uh, always just kind of thought it looked really cool. And I was just really into journalism and I was thinking about print, but I was like, I just like how TV, it's more visual. You can kind of get all the senses with TV. Yeah. It's so much goes into it um, that people don't, don't realize. And even probably as you and I were talking off the air, you know, radio is one thing and I've done radio now for 35 years and but there's a difference when you have a camera on you. And mm-hmm. they tell me that when they redo the studios that they're supposed to be doing around here, that I'm actually going to have cameras in here, much like Hoppy has on, on Talkline. Oh, wow. Which I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to be really honest with you because, like, you know, a couple of days ago, we had a little computer issue. Well, Coop is in here kind of over top of my shoulder working. Well, you couldn't do that if you were on television, or probably you shouldn't anyway. I'll <laughs> yeah. say that. And so I don't know necessarily how that's going to translate to, to television. You won't be able to get away with much. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> they see and everything. some of the facial expressions mm-hmm. that I have and what. Whatever you know, I don't. I have to. I have to. Have to work on that. Um, and, and as someone who did morning, as I did uh, morning radio for twenty straight years at one station, then went away for a while. Hats off I, to you. Then I came back and um, uh, and and did uh, mornings at a station here in the Charleston area for a while. Um, it, my wake up time was three a.m. and bed and, and bedtime was around eight thirty or mm-hmm. or so. What about you? Because I know this is the question that you, because people automatically, when you say, what, you know, you, you're on the air, because you guys go on at 4.30, right? Yeah, yeah. And people, that's a question you get at Kroger and everywhere you go into, yes. people say, what time do you go to bed? Yes, everybody's very curious about it. Well, so I'm known as like the responsible early sleeper on the crew. A lot of them can go on short hours, but I can't do that. I need my eight hours. So I try to go to bed by like six or seven, and then I wake up at two in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it's really, it's just whatever you get used to. Yeah. I mean, uh, I did one stint at a radio station, uh, some fill-in work where I was doing midnight to 6 uh, yeah. a.m. I absolutely hated it. That was the worst possible shift for me because I am a morning person. I, mm-hmm. I even as a kid, my mother never had a hard time getting me out of bed to go to school. I just, I just, I was up in the summer. I was up at 6 or 6.30 every morning. I mean, it's just who I am. I did a shift like that, too. It was 12 to 7 or 8, and I did horrible on that shift i like felt sick because i was like ah, it's so late <laughs> it's a different world it's it a different is. kind of people that can do you know the midnight shift or they can do the morning the morning shifts it's you, uh, you it's need different. the motivation when you wake up <laughs> yeah and, and then if you go away and you take off because i know like you know carrie hudasek that does the morning news for us mm-hmm. carrie's on vacation this week she'll come back next week if you take time off if you're on vacation or whatever do you have a hard time getting back into the rhythm or if you're at the beach or wherever you are do you say well it's six o'clock i'm going to bed <laughs> No, I, funny, I was just on vacation, so this week has been a, a little humbling, but it's just, you kind of, when you come back, you're like, you're just going to be sleep deprived the first day, and then you're fine the rest of the week, because you're so tired from not sleeping. Yeah, yeah. It's a different world, what we do. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm you know, straddling two or three other careers at the same time, too, but we have fun with it. Phone calls to 580 Live or the service of Bigly Piggly Wiggly. When shopping at your Bigly Piggly Wiggly, be sure to join their loyalty program. You can say big at the gas pumps and throughout the store with their electronic coupons and free gifts on Fridays just for stopping by from farm to table. Bigly Piggly Wiggly, the best kept secret in Charleston. Texting services provided by Fruit Pharmacy, your hometown family pharmacy. We'll get back to more with Andy Bernhardt a little bit later on. But but 10 questions. We're going to get to really know Andy in depth coming up here in a couple of moments. 10 questions with Andy Bernhardt from WOWK TV 13 is coming up from the Parmar Store Studio. 580 Live is brought to you by the Thornhill Auto Group on the Voice of Charleston, WCHS. Brought to you by the Eric J. Tar Family Businesses. Eric J. Tar Family Businesses live to make life better for you and your family. Elevators. You take them for granted until they let you down. If you're working to maintain a stellar reputation, then let me introduce you to DC Elevator. We want to work with you to make sure your people get where they are going. 
What could be better than a new company coming to the area and already having 45 years of experience? DC Elevator is bringing a new culture of elevator maintenance, repairs, modernization, and installation to West Virginia. Don't leave your people hanging. For a free consultation, call DC Elevator at 304-345-7222. Looking for the best care to conquer cancer? Look no further than CAMC Radiation Oncology, your partner in high-quality, compassionate, and convenient treatment. Our renowned facility at the CAMC Cancer Center offers advanced radiation therapies designed to treat all forms and stages of cancer. With an experienced team of board-certified radiation oncologists, you can trust that you're in capable hands. Don't let cancer define you. Take the first step towards a brighter future. Call 304-337-5579. That's 304-337-5579. Or visit our website at camcradiationoncology.com to explore how we can bring you closer to a cancer-free tomorrow. The content of this radio spot should not be interpreted as medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate medical guidance and care. Reckless big government policies are putting the American dream out of reach. We all know Washington is broken, but it doesn't have to be. Senator Joe Manchin could be part of the solution if he stood up for West Virginia values. Instead, he voted with Joe Biden on the Inflation Reduction Act, which led to higher taxes, trillions in new spending, and tens of thousands of new IRS agents. Tell Joe Manchin, Mountaineers want real, common sense solutions. To learn more, visit prosperityispossible.com. Paid for by Americans for Prosperity. Eight minutes away from 10, 580 Live, brought to you part by Generations Physical Therapy. Seven convenient locations along I-64, and they're hiring, too, for both licensed and technically trained staff. For more information, visit GenerationsPT.com. Tech says, your show's getting filmed, question mark. You're on your way to becoming an influencer. Next, you'll be all over TikTok. <laughs> Are you getting a TikTok now? Uh, yeah, okay, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Can you help me with that? Because we'll, we'll work on it. Well, I need. I need me one of them TikToks. <laughs> Are you going to do the dances too on no, the TikToks? <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, no, no. No. If you see me doing a dance, call nine one one because I'm having a seizure. Okay, that's not. <laughs> a, cause that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh. Okay. So. We'll get back to Andy Bernhardt here in just a couple of moments getting to know her, but I want to do 10 questions right now. These are 10 totally at random questions. You have not seen the questions. I, along with my producers and my rather extensive staff of the show, have come up with these ourselves. Answer them as quickly as possible. First thing that comes into your mind. And as always, for those listening at home, no wagering. <laughs> Andy Bernhardt, are you ready to play 10 questions? I think so. All right, here we go. Being that you are from Wisconsin, Do you Wisconsin people like cheese as much as the stereotype would lead you to believe? And if you do, what is Andy Bernhardt's go-to cheese? We love it more, actually. (laughs) I love cheese. And I love all cheese, but I love uh, cheese curds the best. So, okay. does that count? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's your, there's no right or wrong. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Uh, I also know by following you on social media that you're a huge Taylor Swift fan. Favorite Taylor Swift song? How could you do this to me? How am I supposed to pick? Well, I can't name one, so so you're ahead of me. So go ahead. Oh, I I love them all. I my favorite favorite albums, Reputation. So I'll do one off there. I like. Are you ready for it? That's a good one. Okay. All right. You're in a grocery store. What is your biggest pet peeve from the other shoppers? Mm, I don't like when people walk slow. I'm trying to like speed around, grab stuff, but people are talking, pulling over. I can't do it. <laughs> That's, I'm right there with you. Beach, mountain, or city? Ooh, I love the beach. I love the beach. Uh, This is the television show that I could watch for hours or days at a time and never get tired of it. The Office. I think I've watched that 3,000 times, and I was like, you're done watching it, and I just restarted it again. Uh, Okay, um, side question. Favorite character on The Office? (sighs) See, that's a hard question, too. I mean, Dwight's a classic, but I really, I just love Michael. Yes. He's iconic. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. I, I go with two of the of the of the more non prominent characters, okay. Stanley. Great choice, Stanley and Todd Packer. Oh, Todd Packer. <laughs> I also love Kelly Kapoor too. She's a good one. I've actually been called Todd Packer a couple of times because of <laughs> a thing. But anyway, all He's right. A good one. Let's get uh, back to it. All right. Uh, since it is back to school time, Andy, what is the name of the one teacher that you absolutely could not stand in school? 
<gasps> you're really calling me out right now. Well, hopefully that they're not listening. In, in yeah, right. I'm she's safe. not listening. I'm sure your parents are. But. I'm safe because I'm in West Virginia. Wisconsin mm-hmm. can't. Um, see, I don't think I ever hated a specific teacher, uh, but math teachers and I didn't get along because I'm horrible at math. So just about everybody in media is. Yes. I don't. I don't know why that. Is. Cooper, you good at math? You know, I got better at math in my adult age than I was when I was in school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just got worse. All right, all right, <laughs> so did I. Okay. If you weren't a television personality, what do you think you may be doing for your career? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm not good at answering fast either. I don't know. I would like to think, you know what? I went whitewater rafting lately. I would love to be a whitewater rafter instructor. Okay. Why not? Name a task around the house that you absolutely hate doing. Cleaning. Okay. Cooking, both. <laughs> uh, I am most comfortable when I'm wearing my uh, sweatpants and hoodie. <laughs> there you go. All right, final question. Where's your favorite place to eat in the Canal Valley? Oh, okay. Main Street Cafe, hands down. Love Main Street St. Albans? Yeah. Oh, best place, b- b- best burgers around. Mm-hmm. The wings, Dip, fried pickles. Mm. Dip, dipped and grilled. Oh, yeah. You, you got to get the wings dipped and grilled. That's the only way to get them. Yeah. Dipped and grilled? Is that different than yeah, the, the yeah. regular? Yeah, they put it, they, they dip it in the sauce and then they then they run it under the grill. Where did you learn this life hack? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not knowing this? When I, I used to work in St. Albans and the people there just told me, they said, when we all went to lunch, they said, you got to get the wings dipped and grilled. That's Noted. the only way to get them. On my way? Yeah, you get the, <laughs> I just tried the uh, Carolina barbecue, I think they called it, a couple of weeks ago there. I had never had it before. It was actually pretty good. All right, well, that having been said, you have completed 10 questions. You did good. You Thank did you. good. All right. So you posted a picture this morning uh, of you in your school days. Very nice picture, by the way. Thank you. Were you a good sc- uh, student, and did young Andy enjoy s- school? Well, this you- is not part of ten <laughs> questions. This is another. This question. is a bonus question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say I w- I'm just was very positive and energetic, so I had a good attitude. But I have ADHD, so teachers <laughs> didn't love me yeah. because I was kind of distracting. I talked too much, if you could believe it. So. But I got these A's and B's, so. There is a profile that would be absolutely fantastic for people to look at. My wife was a psychology major, even though that's not what she does for mm-hmm. a living. Now she was a psychology major. And we all pretty much, if you set a bunch of radio and television people down and you talk to them, 90% of the answers are going to be the same about how they were. To, <laughs> I, got, I, was a, I got an F in conduct. What? <laughs> uh, I got an F in conduct. Uh, my teacher wrote on my report card, Talks and talks, mm. and in the next like, ten weeks or whatever, still talking. They put on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. And, uh, and 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 I get a lot of people saying, I, "I always knew you would do something like this for a living because this is this is what we do. It's just kind of our, our personality. The ADHD is a huge huge thing mm-hmm. too. We get yelled at for it. And now we get paid for it. Yeah. So look at well, us. <laughs> well, some of us still get yelled at for it. Uh, in, a little in, bit in, of both. Uh, uh, other settings. So uh, uh, so well, Andy, it's, it's been a pleasure having you on the on the show today. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing I did want to ask you, and uh, Jim Strong kind of alluded to this. There's going to be a big announcement coming from WOWK TV 13 mm-hmm. now you know do you care to give us a little hint a little hint okay what are you allowed to say what am I allowed so I don't get yelled at for talking yes. right yeah. so <laughs> so you don't become my permanent co-host yeah right <laughs> go ahead um I'll say it's a big announcement about a new face who's going to be adjoining Amanda Barron on the evening show so you're definitely going to want to be there for it all right well we'll be looking and when's the announcement coming Tonight, at live I was going to say they're going to do it like live, uh, live on the live. It might be in our 5 o'clock, too, tonight. Okay. So. All right. Well, very good. Well, Andy, it's been fun. It's been a great time. Thanks for having me. Thank you uh, very much. Enjoy your backpack. I will. <laughs> I'm wearing it out of here. <laughs> Andy Bernhardt from WOWK TV 13. Thank you so much. Thanks to Jim Strawn and the folks with Live on the Levy. Final Live on the Levy of the season is tonight. The Beat will be down there for that, along with WOWK TV 13. And, of course, we got Summerfest going on, too. Coming up on Monday's show, it's Mayor Monday. Winfield Mayor Randy Barrett will be here. Ellen Allen from the West Virginians for Affordable Health Care Group will be here. And Ashley Offord from the Putnam County Chamber of as Ashley Offord Glance from the Putnam County Chamber of Commerce. Hoppy's on vacation. Dave Wilson in the host chair today. I will see you Monday. Have yourself a great weekend. Until next time, have fun and love somebody.